It's long immediately. Sweeney gets a head to it, an important head to it. And gets it through to Christy Pym and is quick on his heels, turns around and collects the ball. While striker Richards was still moseying back towards the edge of the penalty area. City have it now with Henville. Archibald Henville finds Edwards. Edwards for Moxie. Henville first touch for Tilson. Excellent play from Exeter to get themselves out of trouble. Tilson now. Uh, Sweeney finds Taylor. Taylor looking for Kane Wilson. Can he get past Hussey on this time? He's not been able to do it so far. Looks for an option. It comes from Berteng. Berteng about 20 yards outside of the penalty area. Now finds Taylor in centre midfield. Back for Wilson. Wilson will go to Sweeney. Still inside the Swindon half as Sweeney chips it forward for the runner. Berteng took it really deal well. Berteng squares across for Stockley! And that is that! Exeter City 3, Swindon 1, with three minutes to go. Jaden Stockley has surely won this game for Exeter, a deserved victory, and Jaden Stockley finds the net, Pat Baldwin. That was an outstanding play there, the mature play by Exeter that started at the centre-half, Troy Archibald Hemfield. Could have easily just put his foot through it when he had it set to him, but he was composed, played the ball. There was about six or seven passes that led to that moment there. It's a fantastic uh, finish there by Stockley.